Welcome to the studio. Today, I want to draw a tiger snake. So I'm inspired by the little guy that I was uh, playing with the other day. And I also want to show you guys how to draw a tiger snake. Here's the brow where the eye is now. Some people will look at a snake and say, gee, that snake's angry, you know. Because, you know, what they're looking at is they're looking at this heavy brow. Well, snakes don't have eyelids. And because they don't have eyelids, they're going to keep the grass out of their eyes. So they have this heavy brow over there, which makes them look a little bit angry. But that's only because, you know, we're used to cartoon characters. You know, cartoon characters, if they've got a heavy brow like that, it makes the cartoon character look angry. Not angry. I was always told that if you wanted to identify a tiger snake from a copper here in Tasmania, this shield pattern here, right in the middle between their eyebrows, as wide as it is long, not on this angle. I always thought that was a stupid way of trying to work out if it's a tiger snake or a copperhead, because it means you've got to get that close to it. How silly. Well, I get that close to it. I guess I'm pretty silly. This shape, they've got a couple of really big scales here. They poke their head out in the morning from under a log or under a rock or out of a hole. A couple of really big solar panels that draw right here. The cheeks swell out slightly because around here is where their venom gland is. I'm going to draw a line basically where the vertebrae would be. I'm sure most people can draw a brick wall. Okay, it's like a brick wall, isn't it? Easy. When things curve around, like this, from our point of view, the ones on the edge are narrower, much more narrow than the ones in the middle. So we've got to draw that. Some narrow lines, getting slightly bigger, and then narrow again. Now you do your brick wall. We're getting there. Now it's getting a little bit more of a rounded thing. And if we were to pop scales, replace each one of those bricks with a scale, you would have basically the code cracked for drawing these guys. Mid-body scales, 17, sometimes 15. Keep that in mind. 15 to 17 mid-body scales. So that means that there is going to be sort of eight scales. And here we start the brick wall. You see, I'm doing it, the bricks that way because it's going to be that shape. It's looking less like a brick wall, more like a snake now. Once you've got the pencil sketch, you can add ink to it, get out the paintbrush and just ink it all in. You can throw a bit of watercolour on there. Once you know how to put those scales together, you can even do oil paintings. Without looking at a photograph, you can do it from your head. Well, I hope you uh, learned something from this and enjoyed it. And uh, just remember, be really kind to snakes. Otherwise, yeah, put up with the plague of rats.